Okay, so today we are going to review the Konica Minolta HS1 Advanced Portable Ultrasound. The HS1 is the best in class for MSK ultrasound. Welcome to Ultrasound Reviews. On this channel we discuss all things related to ultrasound. My name is Jeff Rubinoff with Complete Medical Services and today we are going to be reviewing the Konica Minolta HS1 Advanced Portable Ultrasound, arguably the king of MSA. So let's get into it. I prepared a list of uh, bullets on the uh, HS1. It's a little bit long and there's some real key features that I really wanted to point out and I want to make sure I don't miss anything uh, so that you get the full uh, review on the uh, on this ultrasound. Let me uh, start by firing it up while we're uh, while we're talking and you can see the illumination. Um, I think that's really one of the, the nice features of it. Um, so um, the HS1 has enhanced signal penetration. These are all things that will help improve the quality of the image um, that gives you that phenomenal uh, user experience in, in MSK. So we have enhanced signal penetration, increased uh, color flow sensitivity, improved resolution, uh, and very detailed tissue differentiation. So all of these things really help with image quality but also in detecting structures as small as several hundred microns uh, which is which is uh, important uh, when we're looking at the MSK uh, diagnostic ultrasound and diagnostic and, and uh, MSK imaging uh, with ultrasound. So let's look at the at the ultrasound itself and we'll really immediately notice uh, some of the key features that are, are obvious when you look at them so but let, let's discuss them first we have the 15 inch swivel monitor now no other ultrasounds have the capability really of being able to swivel so when you're in an MSK environment and you're treating you're doing a, uh, a needle injection um, instead of having to move the entire ultrasound around all you need to do is really swivel the monitor so it also helps a lot when you're working with a patient and you want to show the patient what's going on um, on your screen so being able to swivel really makes a, a big difference plus you have a lot of different viewing angles um, to uh, to show and to use um, it is an anti glare monitor so it allows you really to look at it from any angle um, and get good quality imaging um, the probes themselves are super lightweight um, and ergonomic. Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of ultrasounds, a lot of the older ultrasounds especially will have heavier probes. Um, it's important to have lighter weight probes but also a lighter weight ultrasound transducer cable um, really has a big impact. So when a sonographer is holding a transducer, if it has a lot of weight, it actually will create a lot of strain um, on the wrist and on the carpal tunnel. So having a lightweight transducer um, can be very important um, you know for for many different reasons um, so let's look at the the uh, the layout here so immediately you'll notice that there are there's really a simplified layout so you'll have larger keys and buttons and knobs um, there's not a lot of them it's simplified for really for ease of use so when you're over here working with a patient and you're doing a, a needle injection you want to look and you want your user defined buttons um, one and two are uh, illuminated they're immediately accessible your freeze button is is very illuminated it's got a nice blue uh, illumination to it um, you have your your gain depth um, you have uh, your your set trackball over here you can see the trackball illuminates really nicely in blue um, and just real simple layout uh, when you look at the uh, the on screen so this is a full touch screen and you'll see the on screen workflow this is all fully customizable uh, to your user preference so um, there's a lot of different functionality with the ultrasound so it can do uh, vascular and it can do abdominal the, the primary emphasis and focus for Konica Minolta is in the MSK specialty field um, but there are a lot of other presets that are available um, when we customize the system during installation um, the uh, system itself can actually be laid out um, exactly the way you want it which is uh, which is really nice from a uh, user's perspective it has a very intuitive workflow 
Um, the workflow is easy to learn. Um, it's easy to use. Um, I discussed the simplified console, the touch screen, um, and also wireless connectivity. So those are all things that really make the, the use of the, uh, of the system very nice. Um, and so there are some key features that really allow the Konica Minolta HS1 to stand out from any other ultrasound that you're going to see out there. And again, one of the reasons why it could be considered the king uh, in the field of MSK. So uh, number one that is totally unique in the field, um, they have a, a, a needle visualization software that uses an advanced algorithm with both in-plane and out-of-plane methods to improve needle visibility, especially in steep angles. But what they do that's completely different is highlight the, the uh, needle with a blue tint. Um, in a future video, we are going to actually get some hands-on with doing MSK scanning, uh, where during the live scanning, you'll see the blue tint uh, to the needle. And it's, it's astonishing when you see it. Um, you don't see that with any other ultrasounds quite like that. And in fact, many ultrasounds struggle with needle visualization. Um, I've seen many even higher end systems are, are consider, considered to be higher end systems and they actually struggle with the needle visualization. Um, so uh, with, within the uh, MSK uh, uh, specialty, one of the other fields is rheumatology. And what Konica Minolta has actually done is created a very unique rheumatology reporting package with a full RA uh, protocol and we'll bring this up I'm, I'm hoping during the video here during my editing um, I'm going to put um, right over in this area here I'm going to put a graphic of the hand um, and the hands of the RA protocol so it's, it's again very unique as you're going through the RA protocol and you're capturing images those images will display as thumbnails on the graphic of the hand that RA protocol is customized to your particular protocol, to your particular needs, which is very nice and very, uh, uh, very uh, helpful uh, when you're going through uh, an RA uh, protocol to capture. Make sure you're capturing all the images as you're imaging all the different joints. Um, and there is a foot switch available. I know some uh, in the MSK specialty like foot, the foot switch. Um, others don't typically use it. Um, the foot switch can actually control the um, the RA uh, protocol and allowing you to move through the exam with a click of the foot switch without having to take your hands and your attention away from the patient um, as you're doing uh, doing the uh, uh, imaging from from joint to joint. Um, something else that's very unique uh, with uh, with Konica Minolta is remote assist, and the remote assist is a great feature um, that allows you to contact support if you need to troubleshoot the system, if you need help further optimizing your system, if you need help doing the customization, um, any, any support that you need that is uh, ultrasound related, even additional applications training if you feel that you're uh, a little bit weak in a certain area and you need some help um, using the, the system, this can be done through remote assist schedule an appointment, the application specialist can remote in and help you without you having to schedule far out or taking a lot of extra time uh, to bring somebody into the office. So this is something that's very unique. Um, let's go through the transducers and, and this is another uh, important area. I know in other videos I've, I've made videos specific to transducers, but I feel that we can actually cover that in this video as there's really two primary transducers that you're going to be using in MSK and one this is a really really nice transducer which is a 4 to 18 megahertz linear transducer it's got a nice it has a, a standard 38 uh, millimeter uh, footprint you can notice that it has a slightly more narrow um, uh, footprint which is great if you're doing um, smaller areas if you're if you're imaging on the digit but with the range of the 4 to 18 megahertz you get very high quality superficial imaging um, and with the lower frequency it will allow you to also go into the deeper structure. Um, there are uh, 
indicators uh, on the transducer to help you with the, the needle guidance that match up with the screen. Um, and then when we look at the uh, convex transducer, this is a 2 to 5 megahertz uh, range frequency uh, transducer. It's got a nice curvature to it. Um, this is perfect uh, for doing deeper structure if you're doing hips, if you're doing uh, bigger individuals, if you're doing shoulder and you need to get a little bit deeper. Um, the, the convex is going to be a very useful transducer um, in, that, in that space uh, for those needs. So this pretty much covers uh, what I wanted to talk about and review today uh, in regards to the HS1. Again, in our future videos for the HS1, we'll do live scanning. We're going to do some tutorials, um, some walkthroughs to show the customization of the ultrasound. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I wanted to thank you for joining me. Um, I'm, look forward, I'm looking forward to seeing you again on our future videos. And if you did like today's video, please like it with a, a thumbs up. Click the thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe uh, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we would love to have you subscribe to our channel. And then once you do subscribe to the channel, there's a bell right next to the subscribe button. If you can hit that, hit that bell, that will actually notify you whenever we upload a brand new video so we're going to be uploading more and more videos as we uh, as we move through uh, through this year I'm really excited about all the different content that we're preparing um, and as I mentioned we're gonna prepare some good live scanning uh, that's that's really exciting it's something that we do even in our live online demos but I want to have videos that are specifically dedicated to um, some scanning so you can see uh, some of the hands-on uh, experiences that that you can have with the uh, with the ultrasounds so again thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you on our next video